Hi folks, and welcome back to another Travels of Red Rover. I'm Sean. And I'm Corrine. And we are photographers, adventurers, and travelers. And we hope you enjoy coming along with us today to Colorado the National, National Monument. Monument. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the uh, area of Colorado near Grand Junction. The closest town is Fruta. Yes, it's a beautiful little area and uh, we've been just surveying the area for some photography and uh, trying to find a location that we want to come back to tonight and there's just so many, it's really hard to pick one for the evening. Yes, yeah, so we're going to show you some of our viewpoints and then bring you along when we do some sunset photography here. Well, actually pre-sunset because uh, we think with the canyon below us, we'll need to get our photos done before the sun sinks too low. And that may all change if we continue to get some white puffy clouds uh, to uh, behind us here uh, to the east. And if they fill in, we may be here for quite a long evening shooting pre-sunset, sunset, and then maybe even some stars. Uh, we'll see about that. We'll see about that, yeah. <laughs> uh, right now we're at the uh, tail end of a fire season that's been pretty dramatic. Uh, there's some fires up to the northeast of us and so the amount of clear skies we get is very dependent on the winds. Yeah, so apparently we're going to get pretty good skies tonight, but we'll just have to wait and see because the, if the wind comes up a little bit, the smoke could get uh, actually quite intense up here. So we'll keep our fingers crossed we get yeah. good weather. Yeah, we've definitely got our fingers crossed and we're rubbing our little bunny's foot. But before photography, we decided to go and take a little walk along the Rim Trail. It's a beautiful trail with absolutely incredibly beautiful vistas. It was a fun time and uh, here is part of the walk. here at the Window Rock Overlook and Sean's getting a picture there. You have to stand behind a fence and lean out a little bit to get a good view. Well, we actually found a much better spot to view Window Rock from over on the other side of the canyon. And uh, you can see it pretty good. Karine's going to take some photographs of it with the moment lens so it'll be a bit uh, bigger in the image. Well, we've reached the end of the trail on the Canyon Rim Trail and we have finished by the Visitor Center Overlook. And it's a one mile trail from here to Window Rock. You can do in either direction. Really nice walk, very easy path. a view of the uh, visitor center at Colorado National Monument and this is one of the first places we visited in the summer of 2020 that the gift shop area has actually been open. Most of the other places have been closed due to coronavirus issues. Of course you do have to have a mask to enter the building uh, and there are some outdoor displays to look at as well. This uh, park was formed in 1911 through the efforts of a gentleman called John Ott. He discovered the area in two uh, 1907 and lived in the canyon southwest of Grand Junction, Colorado. And he worked tirelessly to try and promote setting aside this land as a national park. Uh, he was successful and in 1927 they asked him to be a caretaker for the park which he did f at a rate of one dollar per month. Uh, it's a great spot to visit. I'm very happy that he discovered it and petitioned so hard to have it turned into a national park and he worked very hard to create a lot of trails here in the park for everyone to enjoy 
the natural beauty. So this is our view from the book view, the book cliffs view and we're looking down into the canyon. We're not far from the window rock and we're on the canyon rim trail. And just over to the right there's a little sun structure over there to provide some shade while you're enjoying the gorgeous views of this canyon. And I believe this is called Wedding Canyon as we face east. Lovely spires in the foreground and those may be our focal point for tonight's photography. Well, Corinne and I have come back out. Uh, we picked our spot and we're on a big overhang as far out from the edge as we possibly can. Uh, it's about 5.30. Um, Six o'clock. I'm sorry, it's about six o'clock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we left the truck for about 5.30 and then walked uh, about uh, half a mile to get out here. And uh, it's already getting pretty shadowed. So I don't expect uh, this to last long until this is pretty much all in shadow. And if we get a little color on the horizon, it might be a nice shot. But otherwise, uh, we'll pretty much be done by... Um, Oh, just shortly before, just shortly after sunset. Well, we've been waiting around for golden hour and it's uh, finally starting. And you can see the deep shadows in the valley with the just the pinnacles lit up now. In fact, right at the moment, I am concentrating on those ones because uh, I really like the way the shadows are playing on them. Good morning! We're here again at the Colorado National Monument. And this morning we're actually at the opposite end of the uh, canyon we were shooting last night. We're uh, parked at Grand View Lookout and we're looking somewhat northwest with the rising sun a little to our right hand side. And we're actually out here before sunrise so it was a very early morning and uh, although it looks like we're going to get uh, rewarded for it because it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, we're setting up here. There's a lot of viewpoints to choose from. We haven't seen all of them uh, but we looked over three of them in the dark. <laughs> yeah. We had to do our reconnoiter in the dark. We kind of got lazy yesterday afternoon and didn't drive out to uh, check them out. That's not something I'd recommend. It's really much better to actually see them in the light. Yeah, we thought based on the map we had one of two locations scoped out. So we checked out three of them and came back to our second uh, lookout. Yep, it had the uh, best angle at least for the sun where it's rising today. That sometimes would change though if the sun was rising more to the south or more to the north. So we'll see how this works out. Hopefully we'll get some nice glow on the rocks and uh, enjoy a nice little session of sunrise photography. Yep, so we hope you enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs>
yeah we had a beautiful photography section this morning uh, it's just uh, lovely when uh, you actually uh, kind of predict what's going to happen and that actually happens so it was a lovely morning from that point of view the view from our uh, grand view outlook was really lovely and uh, there were some really interesting highlights and shadows today yeah absolutely gorgeous uh, and uh, we hope you enjoy the photographs that came from uh, the session this morning. But wait, there's more. We enjoyed the uh, Colorado National Monument so much that we actually had to come back. And here are the clips and video that we created on a second trip to the Colorado National Monument. So Karina and I are back for our second trip to Colorado National Monument. Uh, we were coming back through here after our fall color shoot and Kareen suggested we come out because it is an absolutely beautiful evening. You can see the nice clouds up in the sky and the uh, uh, nice shadows and highlights forming on the hoodoos out in the valley here. So we're hoping for a good evening and uh, we uh, decided to bring you folks along. And we've got a lovely set of clouds hanging over the Colorado National Monument. Nice pinks and golds. We did briefly see the moon. It's kind of glowing in that cloud over there. Well, it sure didn't last long, but it was pretty well it lasted. Kareen's still trying to take a few more shots getting that moon that's now come out behind the clouds from behind the clouds so she's trying to get a few more shots in there unfortunately the sky got a little smoky as well um, may have added to the color in kind of a good way tonight but it definitely made the moon a little bit more difficult to photograph well Kareen's starting to pack up she's down there and then <laughs> she's coming back to there it was good uh, I wish that uh, the moon had appeared a little earlier and that it wasn't so shrouded in clouds well there you go <laughs> the word of the evening of course she came out here for the moon I actually didn't come out so much for the moon I came out mostly because I thought it might be a really good colorful evening and we did get a pretty pretty um a pretty pretty a pretty pretty cloud evening
you enjoyed our video, I hope you'll give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, please consider subscribing. That helps us out. And if you want to know when a video is released, hit that little bell symbol down below. And as always, we love hearing from you. So please don't hesitate to uh, give us a comment, a thought, idea. Um, we uh, try very hard to read them all and uh, respond to all of them. Thanks again. Uh, bye for now. Thank you so much for joining us and bye for now. Mm -hmm.